Hey guys, Clint here with uh, our Nova Scotia adventure again. Tonight, I'm going to be showing you how I do uh, wood bowls or platters, whatever you want to make. The principle is all the same. So, tools I'm going to use are ear defenders, a full face mask respirator, so it gets really dusty. For grinding attachments, I'm going to use um, the 50 grit flapper disc, so it's just all but sandpaper. This is a 32 grit, or sorry, a 24 grit. It's a vacuum plate with nine bucks, and I got four pads for like six dollars. That's me and her. And for most of the work, I'm using this one. It's beveled, it's got holes so you can kind of see where you're going. It's a tungsten carbide. Works really good. This is a piece I'm working on. I'm going to try. It's literally a piece of old rotten perch I had sitting out there. Right, tripping over it. It's too wet to burn. So I'm going to try to make a bowl a little bit. See how it dries. And now it's at 31. The inside is 70% humidity or moisture. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it dries. That shouldn't take long to go down with the bowl hole with it. So first thing I do is make a little flat spot there in the bottom. Right now I'm just going to so right now I'm just going to clear and clean up the top of the bowl and then draw a circle in so I'll do that off camera and get back to you guys in a minute. Hopefully the camera picks it up. So I kind of beat the crap out of that a little bit with a hatchet. Drew a rough idea of where or what size of bowl I'm going to put in here. And you can attach your blank, I guess you'd call it, however you want. And now I just got a ratchet strap on mine to my sawhorse. 
he wondered if he didn't have a practice drive, he could just fill up through the bottom and uh, use some good, like say number 10 screws, to hold it in place. Oh, and I'm making balls out of like burls. This is a birch burl. I'll grind two flat spots on there. Stick that on my side of my ban bench with a six inch C clamp. And that'll hold it in place and then I could pivot around wherever I want. Here's some before uh, garlic. We'll have some pretty nice grain there once you all dries out and gets polished up. And right there, you can see the nice flat I got on there. And my last step, obviously, before I do my final sanding, is I'll cut that off. So right here you can tell this is where I had my flat piece coming out. It's a weird, it was a weird shaped pearl. It's going to look really nice when it's done I think. Right now this one's only sanded to like 220. It looked really good. It's a good pastime. And you can make money out of it. So I'm gonna show you my roughing out process. I'm not gonna be able to show you the whole thing because you'll be bored to tears. Method one. I was watching some other people's videos and they've got those little chainsaw cutty blade thingies. I might be getting uh, investing in one of those here pretty soon. Because usually when I do this I'll make another half a dozen or so blanks at the same time. Just rough them out so they could dry. So, not really a good idea to run a gas-powered chainsaw inside an enclosed building. So, I'm going to finish this up with a chisel. My fancy little mallet I made. So, I got the bowl interior rock out. Oh, 
when I switched over to my flapper disc. And uh, here in Canada, I think you get a five pack of these for like nine dollars at Prince's Auto, these flappers. This is my tap bowl I've made with this one flapper disc. <coughs> okay, so you're wondering how much it costs. You can probably get started in this bowl making fun for probably 45 50 bucks if you got a grinder on one of those online sale sites like Craigslist I think uh, Kijiji places like that so I'm just going to put the mask back on and show you my second uh, <coughs> attachment I use. So that's pretty much the inside of the bowl. I'll just go in with a sandpaper and sand this out by hand. So it's all nice and smooth. Depending on the the woods. If I'm doing like a small burl for like a garlic bowl, so a hold of a hold a couple of cloves of garlic, I'll usually sand that down by hand on the exterior to about 3,000 grit, 8,000 grit sandpaper. So by the time I'm done it's pretty much polished so it doesn't need any treatment on the outside. And then I put in my uh, homemade mat. I usually coat it with a homemade wax. And these breakouts here, I think I'm going to fill those with some uh, colored epoxy and see if I how I can't uh, get that stuff to turn out. But for right now, I'm going to take our fancy measuring tool. That's gonna be about a half inch. 
So I'm just gonna grab my non killing me from gas fume saw and uh cut that up and be right back. No, oh, I'm actually going to go way back in on the inside and hollow some more of this out. And then I'm going to probably stick with my microwave. So, I'm drying stuff in the microwave. I'll put it in for five minutes, take it out. And let it cool till you stop seeing steam coming off. Put it back in for five more minutes, and I'll lose. I'll do that three, about three times, and let it sit for a couple of days. Do a moisture reading, and uh, wait until I get down to about ten percent moisture. So I'm gonna finish hollowing this out. Level it up a little bit. Maybe take some more off of here. Just kind of want to keep these chips in here now. <laughs> and uh, I'll get back to you when I do the camera. As you can tell, it's been a while since I actually put this video together. But thanks for watching part one of my bowl. Uh, thanks to all the new subscribers, comments, and thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.